Running a simple hospital in Two Point County can be a leisurely task. However, running a successful and a well-maintained hospital can prove to be quite a hassle. After 33 hours into the game, I think I have the basics down for starting out pretty effectively and making sure that the 3-star hospital goals can also be achieved with relative ease. Greetings, this is Kalistophilus and the tip to do effective startup on your hospital is what I wish to share with you guys today. So first things first, if you have played the game, then you know that the GP's officer's situation will quickly get out of hand and the amount of offices and general diagnostic centers required goes from zero to complete madness rather quickly. Should that happen too soon into the level, you will find yourself struggling for money as you will need new treatment rooms and most of the patients will simply die off before ever reaching the necessary rooms due to the ludicrous queues at the GP's office. In order to alleviate that, you would want to make sure that the least amount amount of people even show up in your hospitals in the first place. Hence the tip number one, do not get your reputation up. A good amount of people will still show up in your hospital even with zero reputation and the numbers are manageable and treatable with a good amount of profit for you to make. Should the reputation increase, more and more people will find their way into your offices. And should it happen too soon, then you will be in a really tight spot. But how to manage the reputation? Well, the easiest method is to simply raise the prices on everything. I usually start out with 30 to 40% increase in prices on each level and go up to 100% when needed. Sure, some of the patients will refuse to pay up, but most of the actual treatment patients will pay up and that's where the big bucks come in in this game. Just remember, keep the reputation as low as possible. Basically, in most levels, the reputation will get up to 99% eventually anyways as you expand. So be ready for that, but try to push it as far into the future as possible in order to give yourself all the time and space you need. Speaking of time and space, well, training. My god, I cannot stress this enough. Proper training for your employees is a must-have. Do not just make checks of all trades. You need to make specific characters for your rooms in order to make them effective. So here's a tip number two on how to manage that. You generally wish to have three types of doctors and nurses. First type is the treatment doctors and nurses with high treatment skills. The second type is the diagnostic type with high diagnostic skills. And third type are the specialists who, you've guessed it, are specialized in specific areas like surgery, ward management, psychiatrics, and general practitioners, etc. etc. Also, it is equally important that you assign the appropriate staff to work in appropriate rooms. Diagnostic docs go to diagnostics, treatment nurses to treatment jobs, etc. etc. If you don't know which room requires either diagnostic or a treatment employee, then simply click on the room. Select the room's info panel and read. It's usually the very last sentence which describes the type of employee to make the room benefit from it. One skill though, which every employee should have, is the motivation. Making the employee act faster in every situation in the game is simply priceless in every situation that you are thrown in. And whilst we're already on the topic of training and room effectiveness, read the item descriptions which you can buy into the rooms. Some of them give actual treatment, diagnosis or training bonuses for your rooms and they do stack. Which means that usually I get a training room with over 20 level 2 encyclopedia bookshelves, which each giving 4% reduction in training speed. In total, it reduces the training time like 80%, which is absolutely bonkers. And then there's the third tip. Have you started a new level, gotten news about a new disease and started building a research room simply to research an antidote or appropriate treatment room? Doesn't that just waste a whole bunch of money and time? Well, the easiest method to counter that is to simply open up the map, go back to the one of your previously built and well established hospitals and do all your research there. When ready, just pop back into the new level and forget about research rooms as the results are global and you now have all the necessary tools for dealing with the new challenges. And whilst we're already on the topic of research, yeah, the research statuses are global. So in case you are wondering, yes, you can actually build two research desks on two different hospitals. Start researching money in one of them and have the research finish in another one, giving the money to the last hospital where it was successfully researched. 
doesn't always work, but it sometimes does, so I would not count that as a really viable option of income, but it is out there. So I hope you enjoyed these tips on surviving the onslaught of patients in the Two Point County's hospitals. If you liked it, you might as well throw a thumbs up and share. I would like to thank you all for watching and I wish you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye bye.